What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats, cops and robbers, superheroes, super villains, xenomorphs, zombies, and griffins of the internet, because griffins are assholes. Looking at you, Gryffindor. Uh, this is done with gaming in progress, and as you can see, I've fixed, uh, I've had a little bit more time to tinker around with Playroom, and, uh, I think I've got it where I like it now. I can have it set up to where I have, uh, it's playing our outro music, and I also have it set up to where, um, that little, the little orb dude has left me alone. He was harassing me last time. I had to start a Patreon and everything. Um, so this is another episode of And Here's Why It's Bullshit. Uh, now this episode is going to be brought to you, um, by, well, uh, Playroom. Um, and we're going to be doing a little bit of cutting here and there, um, so just try and bear with me. Uh, now I had to find a good article that I wanted to talk to, uh, talk about this on. Um, so I decided to go somewhere, kind of, uh, I decided to go somewhere pro Gamergate. So, uh, this is going to be an article from Ship to Block 20. Uh, they're a great little site. Um, they don't get nearly as much traffic as they should. Um, I went to the Ralph Retort in the past for kind of stuff like this, but I figured these guys deserve, uh, these guys deserve text and stuff too, so I'll have a link to the article that I'll be uh, looking over here in the description. Um, so in case you don't know, uh, Hatred is coming out very soon, it's like a couple days away. Uh, some people already have their copies, um, like their reviewers and stuff, the press people that they selected to get their copies of the game, like uh, Monday and Matt was uh, on last night, uh, streaming it on uh, Ustream I believe, because well, Twitch decided to update their policy and uh, make it to where you can't stream adults-only games on Twitch. Which is pretty crazy, I mean, it's it's pretty coincidental that they do this, like, as soon as Hatred is about to come out. Um, recently they did it on a case-by-case -case basis, like, uh, we weren't allowed to stream Honey Pop because of uh, the, the content in that game. Uh, which, if I understand correctly, it's more like sexual, sexual content, you know? Um, so, now they're just saying, any adults-only game, you can't stream. Uh, which I guess is an issue for a lot of people for different reasons. Um, it seems like an attempt to kind of censor hatred off of Twitch. Um, and I mean, legally, they have every right. They have every right to do what they're doing legally. I mean, it's, it's a dick move, to be sure. But legally, they can do it. Um, that being said, it's it's very uh, it's very suspicious. Uh, Boogie is kind of, Boogie two nine eight eight has come out and said it seems very suspicious. Monday Matt said it seems kind of fishy that they're doing this right as hatred is about to come out. Um, the Boogie even went so far as to say that uh, it's it's uh, it's good in the long run because I mean the way the the way the Twitch. Uh, is supposed to protect younger audiences from uh, viewing content they're not supposed to doesn't really work all that well. Um, I wouldn't really know. I mean, I do stream on Twitch on occasion. I have been doing it a lot more lately. Um, that being said, I don't really know how all of that works. I'm, I'm obviously somebody who's uh, 18 and up, so I can view whatever content on Twitch or uh, anywhere else on the internet I want. Um, but that being said, he thought it was very interesting that uh, Twitch would do this and not have the balls to basically come out and say, we're doing this because of hatred, and that uh, it's perfectly fine for kids uh, to watch boogies uh, play GTA and murder innocent, co innocent civilians and cops and stuff, but not hatred. And I have to agree with them that. Um, it's perfectly okay for you to watch uh, Boogie or myself play uh, games like The Witcher 3, which is going to pop up right here. Stuff that are common in video games nowadays. Um, and 
in my opinion, I mean, like, if you compare stuff like this to Hatred, uh, this is a lot worse. Granted, not everyone you're killing is innocent people, but I mean, you can still fucking slice people's heads off and shit like that. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna fucking kill these guys. Just to prove a little point here. Some of their heads off. Let's end this. There we go. Yep. You can do stuff like that, and that's perfectly fine. And other games, like uh, Grand Theft Auto V, uh, in which you can not only decap- Well, you can't decapitate anyone in GTA V as far as I know. You can in The Witcher. Um, but you can run over civilians in GTA 5 in their first or third person now, thanks to the next-gen and PC release of the game, as well as uh, you can slaughter civilians, you can kill cops, uh, you know, murders, murdering innocent civilians, kind of exactly like you would in Hatred. Uh, that's okay, because it's GTA, and GTA is a AAA title. Other players, that's okay too. It's okay, that's okay. Because uh, it's again a triple A title, so I don't care. Um, have the cops on you, that's that's fine. You can even kill the cops in this game, and that's okay with Twitch too, because it's a triple A title and it's graded M instead of uh, adults only. Even though the violence in this game is actually kind of exceeding the violence in Hatred. Uh, and yet Hatred gets an adults only rating while this gets a, uh, an M rating? Huh. Pretty crazy shit. I wonder if there's sexualized content in here too that would kinda go against Twitch's rules. Let's do uh, a strip club and get some vir virtual titties in your face and stuff like that. Grand Theft Auto has sexual content too? Oh my god! How about we take this party to the back? This shouldn't be allowed on Twitch! Oh, no, this is this, this, this bullshit. Okay, so we're gonna cut back from the games here and go back. To just, so it's all it's it's very interesting that Twitch has decided to do this. Um, and I I gotta say the whole thing is pretty pretty bullshit to me. Um, and since the title of, of the video, I've been trying to figure out what I want to do the next episode of, and here's why it's bullshit on. I was gonna do it on the Assassin's Creed thing. Um, how, how back in 2014 people were complaining there were no female characters, now in 2015 uh, all the same people are complaining there are female characters and this exploiting feminism and blah blah blah, patriarchy and all that bullshit. Um, but I decided, you know, I, I wrote an article for Ralph Retort on that and it's like, uh, that I'm, I, wrote, I wrote that, I'm done with that, I'm moving on. So that's why we're talking about this, this Twitch thing now. Um, but I'm curious, as always, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Uh, do you think that this is a, uh, this is a smart move on Twitch? I mean, it obviously, it's because they're afraid they'd, they it's because they're afraid they're gonna get backlash for allowing this to be on, on Twitch, allowing it to be streamed on Twitch. Um, legally, obviously, they're in the right, but do you think it's a smart move? Do you think it's a dumb move? Um... Do you think that they should have just said, you know, fuck it, let's let them stream hatred on Twitch, we don't care. Uh, what do you guys think of this whole situation? Um, I'm very curious, and I will be... Apparently they right made quite a few updates to their, uh, their, their policies and stuff, not just banning adults-only games. Uh, you can't, you can't supposedly drink alcohol or something now. Um, so feel free to check out the article for, uh, that Ship for Block 20 did. Um, they do a lot of good stuff. Uh, I get to talk, every now and then I get to talk with, uh, with Michael, uh, who, who runs the site. Um, as just like I get to talk to Ralph and Matt every now and then, and they're all really cool people to talk about. Um, I'll have links to everything I reference in the description, so feel free to check it out. Um, I will have, I know Ralph did an article on, uh, the, the censorship of Twitch, um, and hatred thing. So I'll have that linked as well, so you guys can check out that. 
and the uh, and the the gamer the alcoholic gamer thing as well. Um, so anyway, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button. It'll really help us out here. Uh, we're kind of a small fry right now, uh, but we're getting there. Um, and uh, if you did like this video, uh, give it a thumbs down, you know? Um, I, I take either or, you know? I'm always uh, very accepting of either or. Um, but feel free to leave any could, uh, criticism you might have, anything I could have possibly done better. Um, and again, let me know what you guys think of this whole situation. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing with my hands. Um, but just let me know what you think um, about this whole thing. Um, about the uh, the about the hatred, about the painting adults only games, about not being able to drink when streams and stuff like that. Just let me know what you guys think, because I'm, I'm always really curious, and I love your guys' feedback on these kind of things. Um, so anyway, this has been Devin Gaming in Progress, and I will see you guys in the next video. And man, it's hot as fuck in my room. Maybe if you can't tell, I'm like, getting ready to first bright all over the place here. It's because I got the fucking door shut. I don't want you guys to see the rest of my house. You don't get to see the rest of my house. Okay? Okay. Um, so anyway, I'll see you guys next time. And, uh, yeah. Later. Okay, so find the guy, get the file, and avoid all the